that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles became such a success and in such a short space of time came as a surprise to both Eastman and Laird. Laird has stated on several occasions that in Laird's own words, starting the Turtles was a goof, it was not anything we envisioned directing our lives in any way, shape, or form. It was like, hey, this looks like fun. Let's self-publish it. Let's see what happens. Suddenly, and just completely out of the blue, this Turtles phenomenon emerged. And really from day one just took over. It was a rapidly accelerating process which culminated in essentially taking over our lives. Completely, end quote. Laird says that this led to increased pressures on the two creators and the team which they formed to help them, including a prolonged period about a year of artists block in Laird. The incredible growth and complexity of the business that sprang up around their instantly successful Turtles properties led to Laird suddenly discovering to his horror that he no longer enjoyed drawing. It was a real shock and to him, because if he ever had anything that he could rely on, it was that he loved to draw. Laird and Eastman's creations went on to become a popular cultural phenomenon, forcing both of them to take regular sabbaticals from the comic to deal with the day-to-day -day pressures of running what had become a multimedia franchise. Eastman sold his share of the franchise, with the exception of a small continuing income participation, to Laird and the Mirage Group on June 1st, 2000. On March 1st, 2008, Laird and Mirage bought out Eastman's remaining rights and interest and the two went their separate ways. Concerning Eastman's departure, Laird stated his belief that Eastman was just tired of it. On October 19, 2009, Laird sold the franchise to Viacom, the parent company of Nickelodeon, but still retains the rights to create and publish up to 18 black and white comics based on the franchise per year.